In this guide we are going to discuss about common plaster problems. There are mainly four reasons for plaster to crack, spit, or detach. Structural problems. Stresses due to overloading on walls, settlement of building, vibrations, undersized beams and floor joists, will create cracks originating from random points. Poor workmanship. Defects related to unwell proportioned mix, incompatible base and finish coats, improper plaster applications, inadequate thickness, and improper chemicals admixtures. Improper curing. Plaster needs to be cooled, to reduce shrinkage cracks. Moisture. Plaster is vulnerable to water damage, if walls are constantly wet. Blistering is formation of small patches of plaster swelling out beyond the plastered surface, arising out of late slaking of lime particles in the plaster. The development of one or more fissures in the plastered surface is known as cracking. Causing of cracking. Cracking is caused due to imperfect preparation of background, discontinuity of surface, movement in the background due to its thermal expansion or rapid drying. Other causes of cracking are movements in the plastered surface itself, either due to expansion or shrinkage. A very thick coat of plastering will cause excessive shrinkage. Faulty workmanship is also one cause of cracking. Due to presence of salts in construction material, white patches can be seen on the surface of finished surface which is known as efflorescence. It will give a bad appearance and will also affect the bonding of paint. Efflorescence can be removed by washing the surface repeatedly. Falling which includes flaking and peeling is one of the defects in plastering. Poor bonding between succeeding coats will result in formation of very loose mass on the plastered surface is said, flaking. Whereas the complete dislocation of some portion of plastered surface which looks like patches is called peeling. The conical hole on plastered face due to existence of expanding particles after setting is called popping. Rusted stains appear when the plaster is applied on the metal, like chicken mesh. To get a finished surface the workmanship should be proper or else uneven surface will be seen. When the plastered surface is exposed to dry condition, fine cracks appear on the surface of the plaster in crazy pattern having length of 6 mm to 75 mm. This is called creasing. Generally observed during rainy season when wet surface starts to dry, it will result in reduction of durability of the concrete structure. It appears in 1 to 7 days or maybe later. The rapidly loss of moisture content will result in the decrease in volume and constant drying shrinkage. It occurs when the water starts evaporating from the exposed surface of plaster, the moisture differential along depth of slab causes strain, induces the tension and results in drying shrinkage. It is necessary to maintain time interval to prevent drying shrinkage. The second coat should be applied after shrinkage of first coat ends. Preferably, provide time interval of 2 to 3 days in summer and 4 days in winter, as the setting of mortar will be rapid in summer and slower in winter. During this interval, the surface should be kept wet, to reduce cracks, 